Hello, good evening once again. I am your host, Nicholas Alushka, and tonight you are watching the voiceover games. What is a voiceover? Why do I call this the voiceover games? <clears throat> well, here's why. For both. First, a voiceover is a piece of narration in a movie, broadcast, even off uh, on stage. It is not accompanied by an image of the speaker. Bring up my notes. I, I, I keep a track of notes. I know what I'm not giving you false information. Voiceover, also known, it, it, and it, it is also known as off camera, off stage commentary. This is a production technique. Now, I realize there are people specialize in art of voiceover, but a voiceover is unique. Production it can be a character device, creative device, educational device, descriptive. It's used in commercials, it's used in translations. Morgan Freeman does a lot of narratives in a lot of movies. That is a voiceover. So why did I call it the voiceover games? Well, a voiceover taking in that taken in that context includes voiceover artists voice actors, actors, anybody that just likes to role play a character. So if you like to role play, if you're a voice actor, actor, aspiring or experienced, and you want to have fun reading scripts randomly chosen by a friend that will be introduced Shortly, you can be my guest. Come on down to VoiceOver Games Discord server. Follow stage direction. There's a special channel. Stage direction. And you be on. You can be. On this show. and remember everything here so live stream podcast and my website at voiceover.com it's all powered by streamlabs so here are your guest slots right now i have cats i have cats as guests and they don't even get a name not today. Just cat guest. If anyone from my from uh, voiceover games Discord server does decide to come on, put on a for show. But for tonight, as last Thursday, I'm looking at probably no one able to make it. So that's not an issue. Yours truly will do another reading. And if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do, I'm not going to do a random read. I'll walk you through the steps of what goes on, but there's one that I really want to, really want to do. If I roll for it, chances are. <clears throat> Sorry, 
I cut out there. If I roll, if I have Rint, a friend you'll meet later, roll for it, chances are I'm not going to Rint. So, I really want to do it. I show. If I had guess, we'd roll. I don't. I'm just going to do the script that I want to do. And then after such, I'm probably going to call it an early night and start editing for uh, YouTube. For the YouTubes. I got a lot of editing. But it doesn't take long. <clears throat> Before we get started any further, We're going to hear a sweet, sweet voice. Now recording. Technically, that's an example of a voiceover. You've never seen this, this uh, character's image. The speaker. You didn't see him, but you heard him. That's that's a voiceover. That is a voiceover. <clears throat> Anyways. So, let's delve a little deeper into the lair. Here. As we venture on down. I like to think of this as time that myself and my guests, we can have a little fun. Now, for me, it takes, it does take a, a bit to overcome my nervousness and fears and whatnot. Uh, to get to really, for me to really let loose and, and, and have and do this, it, ta it takes quite a bit, I'm, I won't lie, but I'm doing this. So I'm overcoming all of that just by doing this right now. And the more I do this, the better I'm gonna get, and the better I get, the better this place gets. Now, also, this place, this lair of mine, can get a lot better if you, uh, you know, just throwing it out there. You help out a little. Subscribe, like, share. You, you know the drill. Everybody says this. Everybody does it. I throw it out there, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just throwing it out there. Now, without further ado. I think I'm just hit the button here on my lovely control fab. I'm gonna sink, go down one more level. I don't know if anyone's going to show. I don't know if anyone's going to show, but I'm putting on a show. Look like a goof, probably. But here's some more cats. Everybody loves cats. Come on, this guy's this guy was awesome. So now we are down in the third stage of this lair. Whoops! Put that back on. <clears throat> Sorry. Put that back on. Next, I'm going to introduce you and show you what Rinf does. Now, he's a special little guy. He's kind of like a TV bot combination thing. And yes, he shows up a little green on the screen. But that's that's just how he is. Whoops, there we go. Popped in, popped out. Oh, look at that. 
the portals are set. This is a part where my friend Rinf is going to show you a dice calculator, kind of like that one. There's five scripts in a hat of scripts. He rolls a d10. Boom! It's an eight. And technically, that would be the script that I and the guests perform for you here. Why am I? Why is this show like this? Why is it set up this way? Well, it is to help train and to help practice. And at the end of the show, you get a sweet demo thanks to the deep voice Craig bought from Discord. So. With all that said, these skills that we work on our breathing, everything, our voices, trying to change our voice, trying to be a different character, all of this, this is practice. And at the end of it, we, everybody walks home with a nice demo. I repeated myself and I'm rambling and I apologize. Now, eventually, Rinf is going to display scenes while we are doing these plays. But it takes a lot for me to, it, I mean, there's a lot of animation that I'm, I'm doing, a lot of image animation, uh, I'm trying to do stuff with GIFs and, and, and whatnot, so that it looks cool. That's all. I just want to look cool while we're putting on a play, rather than just seeing a green screen. I mean, no, it's, I'm not, uh, I'm not commenting on your dreams, but it's not a negative thing. It just, it would be nice if you participated a little. Hmm. Portals. Why are these handy? Well, once we find out what script, character, and ev everything everybody gets, well, I'm going to hand them these scripts just like that. And... I don't know where this guy's going. I just throw it in there somewhere. There we go. I have no clue where that script went. Pretty sure that one's sitting somewhere on a rock or a cliffside, but that one I don't know. No clue. I just tossed it. Okay. With all that said, Gives us an opportunity to joke around, play around, you know, have odd conversations. But sometimes my guests are nervous, or sometimes uh, some random thing just ha happens to happen, and and they, they're not seeing what I what what you're seeing. Yes, I'm sharing my screen with them. So this way, we can coordinate on the fly. Now sometimes I forget to hand these scripts to them, and now I'm going to have to print some more off. <sighs> Next, we get to yeah, yeah, we okay. Thanks. Um, next we are going to shrink down. Hmm. Now this is where the script readings take place. I would sit in a chair and read 
from the descriptions, narratives, as my guests do the voices and characters. I take over parts that uh, that are in there that aren't the main characters. For my guests, they get the main characters. Randomly chosen by Riggs. That guy. No. That. That guy. So without further ado, I'm going to get on with my reading. I'm going to show you what, or tell you, I suppose, what play. Ugh. So, here we go. Uh, let me turn my chair. All righty then. Let's um, let's do this. Let's do this. Do this. Do this. Da 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 da. da. All right. The one I really wanted to do. It's called Baggage Unattended. I haven't even read this one yet. I haven't had a chance to go through it. So when I do, I apologize if I make mistakes right off the bat because this is going to be a cold read. Da, 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 do 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 all right i'm just finding <clears throat> here we go Now, Baggage Unattended is a 10-minute play written by Eric Koble, as are most of the plays in the Had uh, a Scripts. And he's a very good writer. I, I, I do enjoy to, uh, reading his work. I, they are, some of them are very funny. Some of them are very serious. Um, but he's a very, very good writer. So. In this, what we have. Is a woman. A man. A uniformed man. And security guards. Not for myself, being that I'm going to do this whole play by myself. I will try to do a woman voice. So, you know what? I am going to do something. Hmm. Let me go back up here. Oh, I shrink again. Oh, look at that. Oh, well. Just boop, boop. I'm going to try something. Bear with me, folks, as I have so many screens open right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. There we go. Let's get this.
I don't know why I haven't thought of doing it this way. Just an idea I had right now. Okay. Boom. Boom. Let's go to stock footage. Let's try images for the remote. No, I can do it better that than that. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Open that one. Open that one. Do, 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 do. This one. Will be of. Another person. <clears throat> Let's say that guy. Perfect. Text box. Let's go. Let's call this guy. Oh. And then we'll call this, uh, this one. Emma, why not? Just why not? Now, am I on? I believe I'm on this one. And there we go. All right. This Emma will be the woman. Nope. Uh, that guy. Uh, no, that's gonna be Tom. That's that's the man. <clears throat> Obviously, man, woman. Now, how about, hmm, now, 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 hmm, trying to find that. Okay. The setting. A row of chairs in a... Departure Lounge of Port Columbus International Airport. Playing around with settings again. Da, 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 da. A man and woman sit alone with their carry-on luggage. They stare 
and a lone black roll cart bag sitting peacefully down center. A few moments of silence. Is he, is he coming back? Do you think? He just laughed. Not just left. That was three minutes ago. Yeah, but he'll be back in a second. This, uh, this, this isn't right. You don't leave your bag unattended. They specifically ask you if your bag has been out of your control at any time. Yeah, right. Well, this is pretty out of his control. How's he gonna answer the question now? He's got to tell the truth. He's probably already answered the question back at the check-in. They don't, they don't ask again. So he's, he gets off scot-free? Totally irresponsible, total irresponsibility. He's just asking to have something happen to his bag. I mean, I, I mean, how does he know we're not terrorists waiting to plant a bomb in a suitcase? Ah, come on. Maybe he's just that trusting soul. The last one on Earth. Huh. Believes in the goodness of humankind. Yeah, exactly. There's a reason their kind is going extinct, you know. Emma pauses. Then she collects her bag and magazine. I'm going to move. Do you want to move? Why? Emma looks at the bag. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a bag, sweetheart. Then why did he leave it? He went down the hallway, probably to the bathroom. He was walking quickly, wasn't he? I, I don't know. I wasn't paying that close attention. There's only one reason to walk away, walk quickly away from a bed. I've been known to walk quickly to the bathroom on occasion. Did you leave a suitcase behind? No. Let's move. Maybe he's forgetful. Maybe he has an early Alzheimer's or he's distracted because his wife just went into the hospital and he's racing back to her. There's dozens of reasons he might leave without his bag. Then why is he not coming back? I've been known to spend more than three minutes in the bathroom on occasion. Come on, please. Let's just sit over there. Our flight's going to be boarding in a few minutes. So we'll move back. I'm not running all over the airport because of a lonely suitcase. I'm not asking you to run all over. Just just over there, by the McDonald's. You think the McDonald's is going to protect you, please? If I'm going to die, I want to go with my dignity not covered with fried rice and chicken nuggets. Uh, 
fine. Emma sits down, then stands. I'm... I'm going to tell the, the girl at the counter. They'll take the bag. Mm. They'll take his bag away. Exactly. They have laws about this. There's no law about leaving a suitcase in front of a chair at the airport. There are laws against planting bombs. And do we know that that's a bomb? The odds are the greatest chances, way over 90%. I'd say, or that that's a bag of shirts, shaving stuff, and old underwear. And you're willing to take that chance? I am. What kind of shaving stuff? Like, straight razor? Oh, for God's sake, calm down. An announcement on the PA. Attention, all passengers, in the interest of security, please do not leave your baggage unattended. Unattended luggage is subject to search and seizure by police. Thank you. You see? That's not a law. It should be. Hmm. Why would he want to blow up gate B6? Maybe he hates Columbus. <sighs> What's to hate about Columbus? We're the heartland, Tom. If you want to strike terror in the mind of a nation, you drive a knife right into its heartland. Don't you know anything? Uh, uh yeah. Mm -hmm. When you start talking like the Fox News channel. This isn't funny. No, it isn't. You're talking about seizing some innocent man's baggage just because you're getting a little scared. These are scary times, Tom. The sooner you open your eyes to that, the better. The guy didn't look like a terrorist. He didn't? And who are you, Tom Clancy? You know what I mean. He didn't look for it. <gasps> like an Arab? Well, yeah, I mean, not to single them out. There are a lot of good Arab Americans. But he didn't look like a terrorist. He's... Yeah. He... You said you weren't paying attention. Oh my God. I glanced at him. He seemed normal. Normal? You mean white? Oh. Mm. <sighs> well, I... Not that all white people are normal. As Tom looks at his wife. Timothy McVeigh, the Unabomb? Did he look normal? This guy did not look like them. The next one never will. 
It's not how they look, it's how they behave. And this, zest, gesturing to the bag, strikes me as suspicious behavior. Not flying with you anymore. This is too much. Emma grabs the man's arm, uh, Tom's arm. Listen, did you hear that? Ugh, what? A click. The bag just made a clicking noise. I didn't hear anything. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It wasn't the bag. You were hearing something else. It came from the bag, Tom. It came from the, the click. Like a, like a clock or, 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 or something. Clocks don't. <sighs> Clocks don't go. Tick loud enough to hear them through a bag. The bombs don't go tick. You watch way too many Roadrunner cartoons. I distinctly heard something coming from that bag. <sighs> Tom, looking around. He has been gone a long time, hasn't he? You see? You see? I'm calling security. No. Why not? He'll be back any second, and I don't want to be the one to tell him we got his bag destroyed. So you'd put his well-being ahead of our own? I... Uh, I don't think it's... An either-or thing, Emma. I can't believe you're willing to harbor a terrorist. What? Making excuses for him. Maybe his wife's in the, in the hospital. Or maybe his wife's at another airport, right? Right this second, leaving another black bag in front of another couple of... To set and detonate in five minutes or seconds or... Are you listening to what you're saying? Are you? I can't believe at a time like, like this you're siding with them. Ooh. I'm not siding with anyone. <laughs> Ooh, I just don't want to live in some bad movie of the week. Too late, Tom. Look around. The good guys, the bad guys, TV writers, couldn't make it any clearer. If you're not, gonna, not willing to accept that, then maybe you should just Get out. Mm hmm Yep. What are you talking about? I thought I knew you better than this. So did I. I'm moving. If you want to die, you're going to have to do it alone. Oh, for God's sake. You want proof? I'll give you proof. Tom. Moves for the bag. I'm going to open this bag. I'm going to shove every single pair of innocent, dirty socks and underwear in your paranoid little face. Emma, pulling him back. No! You want to see the truth? Let's get to the truth. You're going to set it off. Fine. Hell can't be any worse than you sitting here spouting this bull. 
They're on the floor now, wrestling beside the suitcase. A man in an airline uniform walks up to them. Excuse me. Tom and Emma stop. Is this, uh, is this your bag? No. Yes. Um. Is it or isn't it? Some guy just left it here. Uh, it's ours. I was just going to open it to show my wife something. The uniformed man looks at the at, at Emma. Um, why don't you want him to open the bag, ma'am? Huh? Because there's a bomb in there. They all pause. They all look at each other. Tom. No, there's not. There's no bomb. There is no bomb. It is just a bag. The uniformed man pulls a walkie-talkie from his belt. Quietly into his walkie-talkie. Um... We have gold yellow at B6. Gold yellow at B6. Tom and Emma to themselves. Can you see what you did? Gold yellow. What's a gold yellow? It's just close. It's just close, sir. There's gotta be just... It, it, it's just close. Suddenly, three security officers charge on. Two, grabbing the, uh, Tom and Emma. The third waves everyone else back, pulling a cordon rope around the bag. All of them speaking quietly and urgently into the walkie-talkies. Huh, uh, what are you doing? Come with, the <clears throat> Come with us, ma'am. We're innocent. I'm an innocent bystander. He's the one. She's the she's the one who thinks it's a bomb. I'm being rational. I'm rational. And Tom and Emma are dragged. Yelling, kicking, and screaming. The security guards pull back, barking into the wa their walkie-talkies. The area is empty. Except for the lone black bag sitting patiently on the floor, now cordoned off in a little rope prison. And the two bags left behind by the man, Tom, and by the woman, Emma. A click is heard from one of the bags. Hmm. No, it's you, Shammy. I think my guests will have fun with this one. Whew, I don't know. I think I messed up my uniform voice somewhere. I think I changed it probably three times. So, Emma. And my lady voice, I think it needs a little work, but I mean, whatever. It was a pretty good, pretty good play. Yeah. So, all right, everybody. I am actually. 
Yeah, it's almost seven o'clock. I'll probably just uh Ooh, chat you all up for a bit. Oh, one of you. I see one viewer. Awesome. Hey, hello. Here, I'm gonna type something. Let's see if you respond. Hi. I highly doubt it. I wonder who's gonna respond. Oh. So anyways, I kinda, you know what? I kinda like this idea now. Throw out these images for, for, for the characters and um, hmm got my mind mind no i'm not crazy i'm just saying it's turning my my gears are turning here yep 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 do like a image play while we're doing the play mm -hmm. That makes sense. I don't know if that made sense. Yeah. Ah, I'll work on this. Ah, I got nothing but time to work on everything. Except art time with my daughter. Yeah. yeah. Nope. No, uh, not, not, nothing comes in between that. We got. So we, we. <laughs> My little daughter, three years, three years old, going on four, loves dinosaurs. Just absolutely loves dinosaurs. And this art game, you get to tame dinosaurs. You get to trank them out, tame them, and use them for whatever special skill they have. My little girl. <laughs> so we I, I set her up with an we we lost her first account for some reason i don't know what happened to it but anyways so we, i created a new one we created her character and as we were as as i was getting and going around and picking up all the stuff that we needed to build build other stuff and and so on and so forth my little daughter giggled and giggled and when i looked down on the split screen and went down and i could see why she is she was moving her bot in a circle just all you see was sky tree sky tree sky tree sky tree sky tree sky tree and then that's Exactly when a, a, a thylacolia, which in the game is uh, a big marsupial cat-like creature. Look it up on Google. It's a really freaking cool animal. I, I love learning about it. I love hearing about it when my, my daughter talks about it all the time. But anyways, this is a wild thylacolia. And that sucker pounced from out of the uh redwood trees in the in the crystal isles all the way down and and literally took her out <laughs> did she get angry no she didn't but she didn't know what the heck was going on because she wasn't spinning around anymore instead there was a big cat face right in front uh right in front of her cartoon or right in in her screen so she just laughed it off. And it was, for me, I, I thought that was funny. Like, absolute funny. Just her giggling, watching a cat tear her into her character. Yeah. <laughs> but she does, does love her dinos. Everything to do with dinosaurs. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Anything on YouTube, Jurassic related. Maybe she'll be a paleontologist. 
maybe. That would be cool. But without further ado, I think it is time for arc time again. And I had fun uh, putting this on. I apologize that every time, you know, I'm looking, understand, I know I should be transfixed on the camera a lot, but I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five screens going at this moment. I am one person operating all of this and I'm editing and also editing a video. I'm just, I'm just, I'm doing, multi, I'm like multitasking to, to the end all be all of multitasking. It's just watching my Discord making sure everything is running fine on stream labs, checking my voices and audios, making sure Craig is still working, editing this little quick video here. And then, and then after that, I'm just going to keep on going. I, I'm, I'm also, uh, I'm also reading scripts. The script is on this side. So that's why I looked that way. If you were wondering why I was looking off that way. So yeah, it's just one man. Is putting all of this together, editing it, doing all the sound checks, going through every little detail. So I get, yeah, sometimes I get distracted. And I apologize again. See, it's a Canadian thing to do. We just say sorry all the time. And then people are just like, you know, they, they, they'll, they'll forgive us. That, that's how... That's how we think. We're just like, hey, yo, sorry, bud. It is what it is, eh? Anyways. All right, you guys have a good night. Nick Halushka out. Feel free to look at voiceover.com. Okay? That is the official website for the voiceover games. And I have one little piece of news that I've been contemplating for the last little while. I'm now thinking about going and moving into, uh, what is that thing called? Oh, tick and a talk, a TikTok. That's it. So I might transition with the, with the TikTok just to drum up some more uh, followings, viewers, and really get this going because I have fun with this and I want my guests I, I want I want to learn from a from a variety of people and that's how I learn I, I learn by doing and listening and why like, all of it comes straight into this <clears throat> and through all the research I do and whatnot I get better as do my guests, because they're practicing these skills. And we're doing it live for all one of you to watch right now. Don't worry, I know that number's gonna go up because there's gonna be interest in this soon. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I lost all the words to that song. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? The hell with it. I, I just I had the words right there, eh, right here, gone. It was just like, because it's funny off camera, I could sing that song. But now I want it, but it's, you know what? It's just not going to happen. Maybe tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. Coming, and hopefully there are guests on the show so I can have this. Yes, I'm staring blankly up at uh, these people. You know what, I want my cats back. I like my cat.
All right. Anyways. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Comment on what what you have seen today. If you have any constructive criticism to uh to uh like help me get mannered this, that would be great. And very appreciative. I love being I, I want to be critiqued. I want you, the viewers, to critique me and my guests. Because through constructive criticism, we gain knowledge and insight on what we're doing as evident before. I used to talk and wobble and weeble and wobble. Now I'm so self-conscious of it. I try not to. I'm literally trying to be as stiff as a board. More hand gestures. Like these hand gestures. I don't know. I I see a lot of a lot of people hand gesturing, and I'm, you know, just trying to hand gesture all the time, and this way it just keeps my body completely still. <laughs> Anyways, you have a good night. Thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow. Bring some friends. Do the sub, like, share, bell. Bell, mm, uh, that stuff. Okay, check out my voiceover games uh, uh, website. Voiceovergames.com. That simple. Voiceovergames.com. No spaces. Just voiceovergames.com. Check it out. There's some cool stuff there. Eventually. I will get time to fix <laughs> all the weird mistakes on the merchandise there. But for now, enjoy them. They're just so imperfect that they're perfect. I mean, it's just, it's funny. If you, if you bought one and I see you wearing one of these right now because they're not fixed, I'm, I'm telling you that would be funny. I would have a laugh. You would have a laugh because now you know that to me it would be funny. But yes, eventually I'm going to fix all of that. For some reason in the stream lab or when I was de uh, designing logos and everything, for some reason, every time I put it into that system for the merchandise, it shrinks the darn thing to like four or five Pixel small. And it's so frustrating because I can't enlarge it. So what I do is I go into GIMP. I make a bigger banner for the logo to put into the into the stream labs and the, and it, it freaking crushes it and makes it smaller and it's so tiny. So tiny. And then it's on a hoodie. It's like that freaking big. <laughs> it's just I got, I, I'm still talking to Streamlabs about this because I, I want to fix it. But at the same, at the same time, I don't because I, I know how frustrated I've been getting trying to fix it. That it's actually funny if you were to buy. And I apologize, but I mean, the coffee mug turned out great. Check out the coffee mug. It's actually a nice, I mean. I don't have one yet. I will get one. But it has a nice, it has that nice, nice logo. The voiceover games logo. And it's a very elegant cop. I like the cop. I'm getting the cop. The hoodie, I'm probably going to get the hoodie just, just because. Uh, it's, I want it before I change it. So I definitely want to get the hoodie as well. And maybe the bag. There's a cool bag there. <sighs> That one too. Oh God! Just thinking about that. Just so freaking tiny. I can go on forever about this, but I just like tiny, tiny logo on such a big bag. 
and a hoodie. I wanted the logo on here. Just not happening. Just not happening. Right now, I'll fix it. Streamlabs is going to help me fix it. We're going to get it straightened out. But as I said, for right now, I think it's kind of comical. So just know that those, even as imperfect as those things are right now, each purchase helps me build this a little better. More green screen effects, more, more green screen. I, I really want to green. I mean, I just want a green screen, like a, a better green screen. <clears throat> it's just, it's just fabric, man. Fabric. <laughs> fabric from Fabricland. All right. Anyways, I've had enough ranting, raving like a lunatic. I'll, uh, I hope you enjoyed the read. I do my best. I'm still learning, still training this voice, still working on my diaphragm and tummy muscles. But I think I'm, I'm almost getting there. So good night. Lots of love from the voiceover games. If you're interested in being on the show, taking part, Discord links are down below. That is where the voice conference takes place, is in the Discord. Everything about this operation of the show is Discord and Streamlabs. And that's that. It streamlines things for me. As I said, I'm only one person. So, streamlined. Everything's in one place, and then I just conference over to Streamlabs, and boom, you get my lair. I love my lair. I'm still working on my lair. Now, you have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. 5.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's 5.30 Mountain Standard Time. That's 4.30 Pacific. That's 6, 6.30 Central. Then 7.30 in the next one over. And 8.30 in the next one over after that. The, uh, AS, AST. Uh, and then... Uh, the, John can't remember them all <sighs> but those are the time zones just everybody knows this I come on at 5 30 mountain central time so this way I can be done by eight my time hopefully sometimes sometimes it's later but and then I get to arc it up with my little daughter just before bed now thank you and good day I'm, I'm i'm literally ending the video right now okay i i'm i'm gonna it's gonna happen all right now check out my new end no it's not it's not new i'm still working on the end scene it's gonna be where intermission is gonna say end or finny or fin or or something <clears throat> it just I, I i it takes a lot of that I, I i'm trying to trying to fix up intermission so it says fin or the end or something and then the credits are going to roll but i mean the the credits will roll it, it, it is just that well Put it bluntly, there's no, you know, no, no subs and no, so, I mean, there's this whole thing where the credits roll and it, and it has all the viewers and then or all the, all the subs and then all the, all the, um, uh, Twitch people and all the, you know, it's a thing. I, I built a whole thing of credits and I, I really want to see them.
So please invite people. I have them subscribe so I can just see my credits roll. <laughs> have fun. Peace.